Travels along to find out about how wild our muses, parties, and what's going on between them and Kelly from the Stereophonics changing opinion of them. Matt, Dom and Chris are here from uh, Muse. Hello, welcome Hello. to Song of Pops. Hello. Uh, you just finished a tour of Europe, uh, back for promoting of the new single on the album and then off to France. Do you ever, do you boys ever get time to rest? No. No, <laughs> never. Do you like it that way? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good, you know, because once you keep on moving, like, especially when you're touring, you, you get used to going to a different country every day, so you sort of get on the roll with that. So sometimes when you stop, you sort of feel a bit disjointed or something. <laughs> now, your first album uh, sold over 600,000 copies, and you're still shifting about 2,500 copies a week now. That must feel pretty good. Do you know that? <laughs> No. <laughs> Seriously, about two and a half thousand wow. copies a week is still going on. You're still getting rid of them every week from a record shop somewhere yeah. in the UK. That's cool, yeah. yeah. That's good. Um, I Thanks. Don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's good. Do you think that's word of mouth, or do you think that's, you know, uh, people hearing your new stuff and wanting to hear the old stuff? We just did a big tour of you know, Europe, so we played a lot of new songs, and maybe people sort of came to see us then, didn't have the album, but went out and bought it. So yeah. I think we became known from playing live a lot. Yeah. The, the tour of various bands and doing a lot of, because we've done tours so much, I think. That's where a lot of people have got to know us from, I think. Tell us about the second Muse album, if you could. Uh, I don't know, we did some, we did, we called it in two sections. We did some with Dave Bottrell in September last year, and then we carried on touring for a bit, and then did some more in January with uh, John Leckie. So it probably took about two months, all in all, or something. And um, it sort of sounds a bit more, um, more, more like what we sound like as a live band. More, a sort of three-piece band feel about it. It's, 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 the, the way we set it up and played it was all together and um, just like a gig switch situation. Really. Plug in Baby got to number 11. Do you think this is the year that Muse is going to be really big? I don't know. We're just... Maybe this album will just sort of maybe go a little bit bigger than the first one, but you know, you don't know, do you? Obviously, it always seems to be gradual. Mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's always talk of it being bigger than it really is. You know? Yeah. There's, there's, there's been that from the start. When we first were getting signed, it was like, Phew. you know, you should see when it's like we're going out to all these USA record labels and stuff, and they were like, you know, treating us like, you know, whatever, like as if as if we were something big, and and um, went back on the plane, went back home, and started paying and decorating for a few weeks. <laughs> I mean, it's like there's like there's always talk of, it, of things bigger than they really are. It's just right. talk. You know? Which of these comparisons currently annoys you most? One, you sound like Radiohead. Mm. Two, Newborn sounds a bit like Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, that's, that's an insult to Bohemian Rhapsody, in my opinion. <laughs> 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 Big insult. Um, no, no, I, 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 wouldn't, um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't try and compete with those bands, you know. So, yeah. There's a bit of a thing that uh, Kelly Jones from Stereophonics said recently. I don't want to bring this up, lads, but I feel that I have to. Uh, he said that you are a Radiohead tribute band. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. <laughs> nice one. We, 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 we met in, in the USA. He was a nice guy and everything. And, and then he went and sort of started slagging us off. Do you think he's got a bit of a problem with you? I wouldn't know. I don't know. I'm sure he's got problems with a lot of things, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> See, I've read that you have, you have uh, fantastic parties at home in Devon. Where in Devon is <laughs> we, we had a party last night, actually. It was pretty good, wasn't it? We went, we went a bit dark side there. Yeah? Last night it was um, a couple of people to know what they did. <laughs> they got so drunk, they spilled red wine everywhere. Mm -hmm. One of them dyed my hair. I, know yeah. I was going to say, since the last time I saw you, it's like. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's actually why I brought them back. So I met these two people in a bar and they said they did hair, and I said, I can't know. <laughs> and they bleached my hair and stuff, and, and I woke up red. <laughs> What's next after the album comes out? What are you going to do next? Have you got a big summer, busy summer? Yeah, pretty busy. We're doing um, I don't know, 25 festivals or something all over Europe and stuff, and then probably tour again, like another European thing at the end of the year. Listen, good luck with everything you do this summer, and also the album. And this is Muse with the Tour the Fox performance of Newborn.